Hey, what's up guys, it's Draco, and today we're going to be continuing our terrible choice playthrough in As Dusk Falls. Oh, is that me that makes them want to kill themselves? Sorry. Alright, so we last left off with someone getting shot. We don't know who got shot. No! Michelle! He shot Michelle, no, oh, no way! No, 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 no. Why did he do that? <laughs> I don't even know why! I don't know, I think it was Tyler again. Oh no, it was Dale. Mash? No, I'm gonna let my <laughs> wounded wife just <laughs> fall! It's bad, isn't it? Be real with her? Yeah, be real with her. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Oh, uh, someone Fuck. ended up calling the police. The, the police are showing up anyways. I don't know who called the police or what happened. I guess Big Sam got a word out just before he got clapped. You want me to strip my wife naked in front of you? Oh, <laughs> I fucked up. Uh, sorry, honey. Are you a paramedic or something? No, no just a grease monkey. <laughs> oh, great. The bullet's still in her. And my hands shake. If anyone's doing this, it's you. My hands are pretty shaky too, all of a sudden. Now, a bad decision would be to try and remove the bullet and then just <gasps> doing it. I think that's perfect. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, mash? No. <laughs> Not gonna mash? Oh, sorry, honey. <laughs> My bad, bro. All right, all right, I'll try again. Oh man, I messed up, Never mind. This here's the good stuff. Usually stays hidden. All right, I'm gonna mess this up too. Oh, no. how easy there. <laughs> I probably just poured it all over her head. Sorry, 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 Michelle. You shot my mom. You shot her. <laughs> Jay, take her upstairs. Um, no, she needs to stay here. She needs to watch her mom bleed out to death. Jay can look after her. All right, Jay's the good guy. Jay's the guy that I play as when I'm the three, uh, three Migos or three Stooges or whatever. Why hasn't Jim made a play for Big Sam's body? Surely there's still a gun on him, because... Uh, Dale has Joyce's gun, and Tyler still has his own shotgun. Answer, and do exactly what I say. Exactly as you say. Hello? Easy enough. How many of you hostages are there? Tell them 20. Tell the truth? No, there's not 20 people in here, dumbass. Oh god, Tyler's gotta get pissed. Is anybody hurt? Yes, there's plenty of people yes. hurt. Say it was an accident. She's fine. Shot or call an ambulance? I'm gonna say, call an ambulance. Oh, he didn't get upset with me after saying that. Aw, oh, man, I should've said shot. Everyone's fine. Big Sam is dead. I'm gonna tell him Big Sam dead. Dead cop, there we go. That'll mess things up. Well, they killed your deputy, uh, Sam. <laughs> Tyler reacts pretty goddamn late. God, is he choking me out? Oh, God. Oh, Vince, you're not a hero. <laughs> but it's funny to pretend he is. All right, let's try and be a hero and escape or something. Think of something cool. They turned off the power. Oh, why Why are we seeing the title screen? We've already known what the game's called. Oh, looks like we're having a flashback with Vince here. We're gonna probably get explained why they're in the situation and the deal he had to make or whatever. All because you left a lug nut loose on a DC-10. No. That wasn't me. Because he allowed a lug nut to be loose on a plane and then caused some friend? people to get hit, killed and hurt? <laughs> Sign former flip desk. <laughs> sure, flip the desk, why not? I signed the form anyways, this isn't even canon. Pen, right up your ass! Oh, what is this? Oh, this is... Oh, that was a dream. Two days before the desert dream, Sacramento, California. Oh, are you kidding me? I have to do some apartment packing minigame or some bullshit? Ah, oh, man. No. Just go outside and jump off the freaking balcony and kill myself. That's a good idea. Some dreams never get off the ground. Oh, Jesus, that was quite depressing. Oh, fix AC. Well, this should be uh, quite easy yeah. enough if I actually knew how to use my mouse, but I'm not gonna. Yeah, fuck you too. Hey, I know I said I was nearly done, but... Um... What happened? Well, to keep it 100 with you, Michelle, I'm a, I'm a complete and utter failure, you see. Are you feeling okay? No, I hate no. myself. God, is she cheating on me too? Maybe I'll let her bleed out. The thing about dreams is, maybe sometimes they're trying to tell us something. Like, what? Um, I'm gonna tell her face our fears so maybe she ends up like, trying to take out one of the gunmen like a hero. Settled already? Mommy! No. <laughs> no, sorry. I'm just a complete and utter failure. God, if Vince doesn't already hate himself enough, he's gonna hate himself further when he lets oh. Michelle bleed out. Oh. Gonna miss your sweet little smile, cupcake. One last drink. Oh my god, she was cheating on me. Oh my god, you can't be serious. <laughs> oh, poor Vince, man. Yeah, I'm letting this bitch bleed out. Oh, it's a power outage, so the cops did not turn off the power or anything. That's it. If I get to Michelle, I can confront her about Bruce. Who the hell's Bruce? Can I play with the corpse? <laughs> I don't like the way he's looking at me like that. That's kind of weird. Let's try it. I know it's already locked, but 
Hey. Try it again. Yep, still locked. Okay. That's the desk. Yes, that is a desk, Vince. All right, let's see if I know how to pick a lock. Nope, doesn't look like I do. <laughs> look at the look at the. All right, let's try again. Oops, dumbass messed up again. Let's see if we can try it again. Nope. He keeps failing and making the exact same face. Good thing Big Sam is dead because if he was witnessing this, th it'd be secondhand embarrassment all the way. All right, I don't think anyone's hearing me lockpick the door, so I'm gonna actually open it. There we go. I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> you can't believe that actually worked? It only took you a dozen times. Probably just broke the entire lock. So, Big Sam's body was in the back. Did Does Big Sam still have his gun on him? Or did he have a gun at all? I think he had a gun, right? I don't know, maybe Vince isn't smart enough. I know I sure as hell would be. They're coming for you. Yeah, no shit. That's why they're here, Joyce. And go upstairs and say hi to my daughter. Some Wait! Jeez, it's okay, Zoe. Your mother's still bleeding out downstairs. We have to be brave. That's why daddy's gotten his ass beat all night. <laughs> that Tyler guy? He's definitely served me up once or twice. <laughs> so I'm guessing I can make the choice I can bring Jay along with me. But would that be a dumb idea or not? I have to think. <laughs> Feck you, Jay. It's too late for that. Careful! They're still around here somewhere. They're still around here somewhere, then why are we talking? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Almost. Almost. <laughs> no, I don't think I will. I think I got it. Why don't we walk out the door with our hands up? Who is that? Oh, it's definitely the police. Okay, go! Everybody down! Surely someone saw where they went, right? No, oh, they're right there. Dumbass. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> He's gassing them out with the fire extinguisher. Oh, they're opening fire at a bunch of innocent people. Jesus Christ. Dale just shot another cop. Oh my god. Come on. It's now or never. I can't. They're not here to kill us. If I. I mean, yeah, they're not shooting us. Let's just run for it. If we get caught in the crossfire, whatever. Vince, I can't. Sorry, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Maybe you can meet Bruce in hell. You try that again, and every last one of them leaves in a body bag! One singular body bag? It's quite a quite a big body bag to fit six people. Tyler is not the smartest. So all the cops ran out after losing one guy? You should have left me. Yeah, I know I should have left you. It hurts again. Yeah, no shit. There's still a bullet in you. God damn it, Michelle's the only reason why we're still in this shithole. Franco's. Veggie delight. They're ordering a pizza, and they just put a bullet in one of the- another cop. <laughs> Good news, folks. One of you's going home. Why are they still negotiating with us? Alright, who's going home? I'm gonna make the most selfish, most stupid decision possible if I get the chance. Who is going home? Two days earlier. God damn it, man! Oh, jeez, he's still thinking about Bruce. I'm gonna immediately confront her about Bruce. Uh, is there anything more stressful than moving? Divorce. <laughs> just immediately bring up divorce. <laughs> divorce is stressful. <laughs> Seems so long since we, you know. And have another child on our hands. Mention text message. Hell no. I haven't forgiven you yet. Wait, you got a message. Something about cupcake? Thought it was the movers. Who's Bruce? Just immediately bring him up. You want to tell me who Bruce is? Oh, there's Bruce calling. <laughs> Why don't I ask him? Just Let her finish her speech to call her. I'm just gonna be a I'm just gonna be a dick and hey, speak to call I, uh, her. Take the phone right out of her hands. Bruce, right? Yeah, it's Bruce. So I hear you like cupcakes. Vince, give me the I hear you like cup that's totally an EDP reference. He's actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake. Or he hung up. Wait, 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 hold on. That cupcake reference was fun and games and all, but the guy interviewing EDP in this video, throughout the entire video, actually looks a lot like Vince, like body type, beard, hair, and everything. I only now just noticed this while I was editing, but I don't know, just kind of thought of a funny connection there. Enjoy the rest of the video. What the hell has gotten into you? What are you fighting about? Oh, uh, it's okay, Zoe. We're just uh, about to get a divorce. No worries. Hey. And his parents used to argue, and now they don't get to live together anymore. Don't worry, honey. We're not doing that. Not yet. We won't need a divorce if she's just dead from bleeding out to a gunshot wound. That is kind of sus that immediately when she hung up the phone, her cell phone, Bruce immediately called so, uh, the landline. Let's forget about all this. Don't let it ruin our last night. I'm gonna let it ruin our last night. Refuse wine. I'd rather drink my own piss. Yeah, you know what? Maybe Michelle's got what's coming to her. But nothing happened between me and Bruce. No. 
There's more to this. Oh, she's about to cry. It was a mistake. Yep. Yep. I'm sorry. Let it all out. Let it all out. Yep. You're done, Michelle. You're done. I don't know what to tell you. It just happened. Well, I guess it just so happened that you're gonna bleed out on a couch in a random ass shitty motel in Arizona. Was he good in bed? Was it worth it? Yes. You were such a dumbass, Michelle. Will you at least sit down so we can talk this through? Okay, yeah, just leave. You're not the woman I married. You just look like her. Ooh. Okay, now I kind of want Vince to be a hero. <laughs> want it to be Zoe. Yeah, Zoe makes it out no matter what because she was in the intro of the game drowning herself. All right, Zoe, it's time to go. It's pizza time. Later. It's an easy Zoe. It's easy because if Michelle stays here, then she spends longer without care. Take her out. Grab the food. Come on back. Ooh, he's gonna make me go out and get the pizzas for her, too. Why does Tyler still trust me? I broke out of the room. I've messed up so, so, so many things. Why does he send Jim? All right, so we might get an opportunity to run here, and I might take that opportunity. Yeah, I knew Zoe makes it out alive no matter what, because like I said, she's in the intro of the game drowning herself. So this is another terrible decision, and I like that. Think of it as an adventure. Yeah, what a great way to remember this as, an adventure. Deputy Coburn here will show you how to use the siren. Yeah, she can show you how to use the siren. Not a gun, though, because obviously she let her buddy Sanchez get clapped. But what if you and Mommy don't come back? Then you'll be an orphan, kiddo. And then you'll have Grandpa. Don't worry about us. He's dying of cancer or whatever anyways. Two-way pager. I'll be in touch soon. Oh, yeah, like he's not gonna see the pager in the- in the two- under the two napkins. It's the pizza guy. You're late. No tip. Oh, thanks, dick. They really think that they're gonna get out of this, which is kind of hilarious. Is Zoe okay? No, she tripped and fell, hit her head real hard. She's not gonna make it. Cold. Oh, she's feeling cold, huh? I bet you wish Bruce was here to warm you up, huh? Can I count on you? Absolutely not. <laughs> Hell no. Wrong answer. Oh, okay. Sorry. They took from me a black book. Oh, okay. Need you to find it. So the sheriff must be corrupted or dirty in some sort of way because even uh, Paul or whatever told me not to trust him. He's threatening my life to get this no, black book. Try making friends. Oh my god, I'm terrible at making friends. Show the. Uh, I'm gonna demand pizza. I'm not gonna make friends with these guys. If they don't kill me, maybe on, Dante the sheriff man will. Oh, shit. Sorry. I hope we get a quick time event to go through and no search our stuff. All right, no quick time events. I'm not gonna do any of this. Oh, he caught me. <laughs> yep, he caught me. So, uh, does that mean no pizza? Jesus Christ, Vince. I don't think pizza's happening, guys. <laughs> oh my God. It's not there. Oh, so is he lying? Or did he actually, yeah, I, bet, I bet Vince is lying. Vince is an idiot. It's all right. I put my big boy pants on today. Yeah, you shot two people. Dale did put his big boy pants on today. So to sum up that really long conversation, essentially, Sheriff wants to meet with one of the two Holt boys face to face, and they're bringing a hostage to ensure their safety. Why are they still bringing me and not anyone else? <laughs> Poor Zoe gets to see her dad at gunpoint. For your wife. Oh, he's giving me some morphine, okay. I'm not gonna use the morphine, I'm just gonna lie about it. I'll do you one better, jackass. <laughs> I pissed in your lemonade. Well, it was supposed to be a surprise, Dale. Oh my god, you imbecile. I told you already. I don't know anything about that. So Dale sounds genuine that he doesn't actually know where the black book I is. Do. Maybe Tyler swiped it, or no, Tyler wasn't in the car. Maybe Jay accidentally swiped it. Is he gonna blow, blow his head off? <laughs> Can I jump in front of the bullet for him? <laughs> be a hero? Warn Dale, don't warn. Oh god. <laughs> oh man, what do I do? Sniper! Ah. Sniper, get down! Oh my god. Oh, I'm not gonna dodge. Hopefully I get shot. Yep, I got shot too, I think. I saved Dale, and I think I got myself shot. Oh my god. Vince, she's getting worse. Oh man, what a shame. Really wish I had something for you, honey. So Vince was not shot, and Dante's probably gonna be pissed off that I warned Dale about the sniper. I'm curious if Dale would have actually gotten his head blown off. That might have been pretty cool to see. Find that book or people will die? Oh my god. So there is something very important in that black book that Mr. Dante here wants. Just gonna take a wild guess and I'm gonna guess that he is a pedophile. Yes. The, the cars are floating by the way. None of them are touching the ground. Why are we just sitting here in awkward silence? Oh, don't tell me that was the chapter. 
Oh, you're kidding me. So right here, I was part of 1% of the entire world that failed to remove the bullet. That right there is very, very special, boys. <laughs> well, that's gonna be it for today's Bad Choices and As Dusk Falls. If you enjoyed, leave a like, as well as leaving a comment showing your feedback would be much appreciated. In the meantime, check out some more of my videos here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!